um, I have a question. Do I have to um, do I have to put a line where to fold it, or can I just fold it at the end? Let's fold our uh, card at the end. Let's now paint but just as a picture. I yeah? mean, like, do I have to mark it with the pencil where I'm folding? Yes, very good question. I would suggest exactly mark it like a little bit up and a little bit like let's say down where um your middle is so it helps you um okay. but folding in the end when it's dry when it's done then it's better yeah, yeah. Okay. so the sketch shouldn't be hard of course we start with our heels and all this side will be more calm so of course most of it's on this side and check how much sky you want how much snow you want yeah so let's say here is also like nice hills um did it did it so maybe like this okay yeah. one second. and then then it goes like back yeah so let's say i've sketched my heel okay Okay, I didn't still sketch my hand. Shall I do it more higher up or more higher down? And what's better? Um, so you should think that you need space for the sky and you need some space for the uh, the trees. But also, it kind of looks nicely when we have more space for snow and then we kind of feel the space. Okay, this rabbit has to jump that far away. So... Yeah, um, so as here, I've decided to leave kind of a lot of for snow and then the trees I'm going to just make maybe not so big. Yeah, and and here the trees I'm sketching very, very lightly, just kind of general shape because what we're going to do, um, of course, we need like those green parts and then the, and the white ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we do maybe painting class? I don't know if it would work, but maybe we could try once to um um do painting class, but in person. Yeah, but we all live in different countries, and yeah, <laughs> I mean that would be awesome. But we all live in Europe. Okay, so where where shall we meet? <laughs> uh poland poland oh my god okay um we can discuss it <laughs> but okay let's let's concentrate on sketch and um so this tree it looks nice it's not completely we see just kind of a bit more than the half so i kind of have the top of the tree and then like those rests coming down but as if it's hidden, so as if it's going out. Our... Half is on the screen and half is not. Exactly, yeah. And then also, of course, careful with the size. So these two trees in the middle should be much smaller. And also very careful, don't make the same distance. So don't put them like really in the middle, maybe a bit more closer to the bigger tree. It's just because our brains, they tend to put things like with the same distances. But in art, you always need to make it different. So it looks more interesting. And yeah, so um, for example, maybe, okay, now I've put maybe too close or maybe a bit more far away. But um, yeah, so... So, so this this thing, and the sketch shouldn't be hard. Um, so what next we can plan? These are those lines of kind of hills, but please do them like very very lightly with a um, pencil, and even later maybe just also erase it with your pencil, so then we can have like very light grayish color. And um, and we don't have then the pencil showing through, yeah. So let's say we can plan like bigger hill that is closer to us here, where we're gonna have this 
rabbit that's going to be living on the other side of and the rabbit basically you see two ears something circle for the um, head bigger circle for the body and the and the tail and then just a bit of and even footsteps like you can mark them but also not too hard with pencil snow it's everything here very very lightly yeah Evie? Mm -hmm. um can i also do some trees on the other side definitely if you want to you it's your card it's your you're the artist so i'm suggesting but feel free always always i feel mm -hmm. like anywhere would be trees right yeah like my idea in this card was that the back side is more like empty calm so yeah but of course your one can go also it's kind of like a wave the sky <laughs> a little bit a little bit yeah, yeah yeah okay and then the front side ah okay also careful you see that's why we've uh, marked this middle line so now here my three is a bit on the other side and then I can decide, do I want it or not? Do I want it to be all in one side of painting or, and then I move it now? Yeah, so this is good to have these middle lines. And then, okay, then I have back heel. So maybe like one more line, again, very lightly. And here it's all about the size of rabbits, how we show that something is closer and something more far away. Yeah, the the classical rule: objects closer to us are bigger; they have more details. What is far away, you see less details with the rabbit, and they're smaller. Yeah, so. And here, for example, I can draw just a bit of body, little head, so maybe some part of his. Tail, I don't see, it's behind the heel. Yeah, so, um, and the other one, even, even smaller, doing something there with the, I don't know, no, yeah. So kind of. And this one, of course, our main, main rabbit. Here we, we have two have main like... rabbits. We have two main rabbits. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, one on the back side. Of course, it's uh, but this one like is the frontal one, the one you see. Yeah. Uh, and with this one, we're gonna do also like how to show that he's not flat. We show that one side of him is a bit more uh, darker, and the other side a bit lighter. And even in the ears, we can show some details. Okay, I'm trying to draw that thing. Yeah, and then we put kind of shadow. I noticed something. Tell me. You're drawing the rabbit mirror side, dude. Well, what, what, what you mean? So the rabbit in the picture you draw there. Yeah. Facing to the, for my side, for my camera, the left side. Okay. I don't know what you're drawing. It's facing to the right side. Hmm. I don't know. I see them similar, but maybe this is this shadow that I'm putting is is confusing. But um, um, yeah, but I mean, he can face wherever. It's it's uh, ah okay. Juliet is showing something. Um, yeah, with the pencil. But okay, I can see the trees. Looks nice. Yeah, the hills, the rabbit. Ah, nice, nice sketch, Juliet. Yeah, yeah. How's your sketch, Sanyana? I can't show it. But you can tell us if you're yeah. <laughs> already. I'm already. almost done. I have to draw one more rabbit. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah, Juliet, you can go and uh, discover your blues. Like the blues, we all have always different ones. Ultramarine. Here I have something unknown. Yeah. Um. So... To experiment and feel which which kind of sky. Ah, but you showed me you have two blues. 
for the sky. Then I'll have a bit brownish for the rabbits, green for the trees. But also always mix. We can mix it a bit with black. Then the green is a bit deeper, a bit nicer. Yeah. And actually that's it. If you, in the end you choose to have stars, the moon. I mean, you can, yeah. So I will start with my blues. So I'm still undecisive which blue I'm going to have. So I'm going to put. Mm -hmm. Yep. I know I draw something extra to the picture. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you later and you have to guess what it is. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll, um, I'll do my best to guess. But I'm already excited. I you which, because I don't have any other option. <laughs> um, once we've like mixed together two colors or something, can we like start painting the sky or whatever? So, um, I would suggest we uh, go with the sky first. But let's say you can experiment with, with your blues on the palette, and then you can always have some extra piece of paper. Yeah where you can kind of just um, so ju just see uh, how it looks on the paper so to avoid like ruining yeah your artwork yeah and then it's also matters let's say um, so I I'll do the same it's actually very good Juliet you've asked this question because I'm also not sure okay this is looks a bit hmm, a bit too, I don't know, too light, maybe with a bit of black. It could be. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna get all the blues I have out. I mean, you don't need to have all of them. It's like what you feel to, you know. Um, okay, I only have two colors. I have dark and light. Yeah, because it's also good, like limiting your palette then. <laughs> You're not getting overwhelmed. Okay, here I got a mm -hmm. tiny bit of black. Um, now it already looks a bit more um, calmer. We always, when we have blue, mm -hmm. yeah, just one second, Sienna. So when our blue is too bright and we want to make them like calmer because it's on the background, it's also very nice to add a bit of brown in it. And at once our blue stops being... Um, very bright like especially this ultramarine you know i have ultramarine right now i want to say i have ultra ultramarine blue and i have the light one is cobalt blue okay yeah well check you know um check what, what it feels um i'm okay. gonna now i'm getting undecided also a bit more grayish or everything looks pretty on your um it's is it a palette or a paper it's just a piece of paper yeah that's that uh, I don't everything need. every single color on your palette on your paper looks pretty oh thank you yeah so it's very good uh, way to um, i mean it's normal process how painters experiment yes yeah so <laughs> and and then what we do, of course, then we go a little bit around our trees, but you don't have to be like too. I have a perfect idea, Evie. Ah, uh, you found the perfect tone for the sky. Um, not for the sky, but I have a perfect idea. Idea who I'm gonna give this. Oh, but you you mentioned you're gonna give it to your art teacher in school. Yeah. But yeah. my art teacher, I don't know anymore because I might give it to my teacher, but also maybe. So me and my friend um discussed that um we wanted to give Christmas um Christmas, what's it called? Gifts mm -hmm. to each other. Ah, very and cool. So I I could maybe give her this card and tell her that I did it, I draw it, I painted it by myself. Oh. Presents made by yourself is always, always like very cool. Yeah, nice. So you can also think about your friend and maybe think what she likes and add to your painting what what 
You know, you think she, she, she loves the color green. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've chosen my blue. So I made the decision. I... This is also what you should, as an artist, you should learn is making decisions. Because this is always what we have to do. Shall we finish the painting? Shall we continue? Shall we change this here? Or shall we not? And this is sometimes also a big risk to do it because uh -huh. sometimes I really feel like, oh, I wish I was this one there, I did it better. So I try to fix it and it turns out in a bigger disaster. You see, everything experience. Okay, now when we are putting sky, of course, I would suggest also maybe a, a bit bigger brush. And then you can choose maybe say direction. So I'll go horizontally. And then also don't worry if you get brush strokes, because actually like if you want it to be like very smoothly covered, then what you do, you just go with um, two hands. So it means you put one layer, you wait till it's dry and then you go with a second. But maybe you also actually you don't want it to be so perfectly even. And actually you want this a little bit, those strokes. Then you just kind of add a bit more water and, and then you have it. Huh? So here I'm going a bit around my trees, but not too like too crazy, I mean, you know. A little so, bit of ultramarine, a little bit light and like, I don't know, like a little darker shade of light blue. Yeah. So in this corner where I'm planning, so I also plan that it's going to be like ending to the white. Yeah, because I also think it looks ni nice when the postcard ends like with um, this big white border. So here I can use also paper towel and, and then I can have it like my paint wet. And then with paper towel, I can just kind of end up and smoothen my my borders you know yes it works perfectly yeah yeah because it's kind of yeah and with brush sometimes it's a bit harder how is they're so watery <laughs> but critically it's hard because um so like watercolors is easier it's it's you just need to know how each works. So with for watercolors, you do one things. Acrylics, they can behave as watercolors, kind of. So it means they can be kind of transparent. But acrylics can also work almost as oil paints. And they can be like very, you can put a very thick layer that even has like a texture. Acrylics can also, I think, work like gouache. Yes, that's true. Um, so the main difference between uh, acrylics and gouache, that gouache can, you can never get texture. It means gouache will always dry flat to the paper. And acrylics, I can put, like if I use my palette knife, yeah, I can no. put such a thick stroke and then I will have it as if like texture, you know, it's I can even like feel it with my finger. Yeah, so, but yes, of course, they're similar in, um, yeah. And then again, let, let your sky also rest. So let's say put, put the layer, let it rest, let it dry. You'll come back, you'll see, you will have it easier to, to correct some parts that maybe you don't like. Instead of moving your brush like too many times, making your paper tired and everything look, you know. In, in watercolors, it's also the um, golden rule that the less strokes, the better it looks, yeah? And acrylics, they are a bit more easier in this way, but still, it also don't make it too tired, yeah? So just let it dry, go paint, other parts and then come back. Okay, so, ouch. ouch. And yeah, and the next part, then I suggest we do green trees. Yeah. I'm not done yet. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting, waiting. Thank you for um, 
stopping me. Yes, this is also what I, I tell that that know yet. <laughs> that if okay. I rush, of course, feel free to stop me. Okay, I'm not done yet. I'm just saying, okay, so you the perfect color. Yeah, me too. I'm not done either. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, both of you, yes. Thank you. It's time. very, very fast. Evie, I have a question. Mm -hmm. From whom or from where or from yourself, where did you inspire yourself to be an art teacher or do art? I think it's a bit similar, like... You both girls, you just enjoy painting when, you know, when you're in school. And yeah. if later it, it doesn't go by, then it's actually nice to make it your profession. And, you and know, it looks pretty and everything. <laughs> Thank you, Sanyala. It's, it's really just like, um, it, it just time and practice, nothing, nothing else. And I'm sure you girls you're going to get much better level because you're already painting so young and and important just having fun, you know. So... I, also, think, right now, I mm -hmm. think right now your paintings look better, but because um, you had much more training than me. Exactly. It's just because I've started earlier and I already had, I don't know, that much years. But you are still, like... Yeah, the same path, but so it's not about comparing. You always should compare it just with yourself, how I painted one year ago and how I'm painting now. And that's it. Yeah. But, and um, yeah. And always like, I mean, if you know how many pieces of paper I was throwing away because the painting didn't work out. I mean, you can't you shouldn't throw them away if you could do something else with them or something or like memories i mean of course sometimes i of course just turn it the other side and i use the other side of paper to to save the the yeah um, but like it's just in general of course you keep many paintings but some of them ah uh, take it as ex, uh, experiment as a training yeah, because you can't keep everything because i think if I keep every single thing um in my house just laying right there or something, yeah. I think our my live um I think my um our kitchen would be full with my thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not done all I'm almost done. I just gotta make this this yarn. I think wait. Okay, since mm -hmm. I kind of ended up waiting for you. Maybe I'll go for the second layer for my sky. Yeah. But next step would be like green. We mix green with um a bit of black. But again, this is again comes with experience, the proportion of mixing. Yes, so black is a very, very, very dangerous color. Yes. That's a very good point, Sanyana, because it is like this. So tiny bit of black it's always better go and add your paint two three times and instead of putting one time too too much paint and then you say oh then it's just actually easier to try mixing again you know and um but you should always go to rest if you draw one time, you shouldn't draw, directly draw again. You should give it rest. The paper needs rest. Yes, that's also very important. Totally agree. Yeah, because it also looks different when it's dry and when it's wet. And we're trying to correct something that is wet. That actually maybe when it's dry, it's all fine. And yeah, you ruin it for no reason sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It's just um this being maybe unpatient or just a bit lack of experience you know once you already know the story then you say ah i know how it works i give it i give it rest i come back and it all will look fine and um i sometimes when i was small i didn't because i didn't know it yet my sister 
um when I was three or something. Then my when I was three, my sister was wait. I have to count now. <laughs> Don't count paint because we're moving to green paint, Sanyana. I'm already done. Good, good, good. What about Julia? Your your sky. Um, I haven't completely finished it. Um, but if you move on, I'll catch up with the trees. Okay, okay, good. Um, I will then I will just a bit talk. Um, what's the story with the trees? So, as I said, also when you buy just let's say twelve color um set um of paints. But sometimes green comes just alone. We usually have like two yellows, cold and warm yellow. And we have then two blues, darker, lighter. And green often comes alone. And this green, it's considered to be like a bad artist thing to use it straight from the tube. So like use it unmixed. It means you always need to mix it either with yellow to make it lighter. Or you add also a bit more blue, it gets a bit more like emerald. You can add a bit more black, it becomes deeper. Yeah, so like green is very versatile. And today we're going to mix it with a tiny bit of black um, to make it like more like deeper, like serious, let's say. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I have a question. Um... Oh. My, when I was three, my sister was eight. Okay. Probably at that time, I think, I'm not sure. So me and my sister decided to take some stones from our garden and draw it like something. Mm -hmm. My sister drew it like a ladybug. And I wanted to also do a ladybug. But the problem was, I could. my sister had like a soft stone that also was kind of in the shape of a ladybug. A bigger, a big one, and I had like a normal big stone, and so I tried to do it, and I painted it um in red, and then I didn't leave it, and immediately done black, and I had to wash the wind redo it. I see. Okay. Um. Nice stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I will continue talking about my trees if if I may. Um. Yeah. So I've mixed um, green with tiny bit of black. And and today, and like now I'm not gonna use too much water. So I prefer to um, my brush to be like half dry. And the way I'm gonna use my brush, it's more like pointing vertically to the paper. So it's not brushing left and right. It's more just dotting, pointing and so we think about then those white parts. You can also start, let's say, maybe with the bigger tree, because then you have, you can have a bit more bigger parts of the green. And then you see how your brush behaves. And then if you want to take smaller brush for smaller trees, yeah, in case you have a smaller brush. And let's say the end of the tree, the point, I can do like vertically, just, yeah, just dotting. And then the rest, I'm kind of um, going a bit more horizontal and um, yeah, so I'm just I'm kind of- too watery, exactly what you did, that you said, mine is too watery. Yeah, because in this case, if it's watery, it means you need to wait till it's dry and then you go for the second layer and- um, But it's like basically like water. Yeah, so this is, in this case, if it's too water, you just wipe it a little bit with the paper, your brush, you know. You will have your paint left there, but... Um, um, Can I do the whole tree? And then I'm going to add the little touches with black later. Um, This is an option, yes. But, like... I would go still leaving white of paper because it will look cleaner. Because if you add later just white on top, I mean, yeah, because we still gonna be I will still will be adding white here on top. But leaving 
um, paper because sometimes it shines through still. And so I'm using actually the whiteness of the paper as, um, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, so it's like really dotting and um, and no worries if you did too much of green, then as Sanyana said, we can go and add just white on top. But still, I prefer you to keep a bit of white because then it will look a bit cleaner, the, the result. Yeah. And again, like the top, top of the tree, I turn my brush vertically. And then the rest parts, I go just horizontally and... <clears throat> And again, remember, making different, yeah? It's like generally always an art um, because it is so that our brains, they tend to put things in similar distance. I don't know why. Maybe it's just easier for brains. But so in art, it's often you have to tell yourself, aha, no, 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 no similar difference. Here is a bit more, here is a bit less, here is a bit bigger. TV. Mm -hmm. How are you? Um, are you painting your trees? Um, right now, still horizontally. Yep. Okay. So my, I, I'm painting it horizontally, but it basically looks like I dabbed a little with the sponge a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's exactly like half brush, half dry it's brush. It's that bad. I could adjust it with the white. Yeah, but with the white, it will be like, yeah, I mean, experiment. Yeah, and at the bottom of the tree, a bit, a bit more, more, because there is always shadow. We're going to be adding there a bit of gray as well, because where, where the tree is standing, it's always, always there is shadow, so feel free. That to is not turning out like yours right now, because... My brushes, my brushes don't work like that for some reason. It's again, it's the process. You study your brushes and you learn. It's also about what brush you have. Totally, of course, yeah. And I don't have the card brush, but it will still look amazing. Mm -hmm. I hope. Okay, I'm done with the green. I mean, the back trees look more like olive green. The front tree, the big one, looks like normal green. Mm -hmm. And the green, what's on top of the tree, looks in between of olive green and normal green. Oh, okay. But I mean, every tree is not the same color. Wow, that's a good job. I actually did the mistake that all trees are the same. So actually, thank you, Sanyana. I'll also change a bit my, maybe I'll add a bit of white and make some of my trees a bit lighter. The and the trees what are further back, I feel like it fits that they're more like a dull color because they're far away. Ah, okay. Actually, do the opposite. What's closer, it's darker. What's far away is lighter. Yeah, but I mean, it is lighter. Yeah. The olive green is lighter, but it's like more like a dull color. Mm -hmm. Ah, I get it. I get it. That's so bright. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I feel like today's picture is amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm happy you like that. <laughs> I love today's picture. I'm so happy that I joined you in the, today's painting class. Oh, happy to hear it. Yes. Oh, and then after I'm done, I have to adjust something to the sky after I'm done with the trees. Yeah, yeah. Again, remember, you can give your trees time to rest. Let's say, yeah, either go do some, cor some correction in sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I just said. And um, I will slowly explain the the next step. Yes. So the yeah. next step will be those gray parts on the snow. 
So then again, we need our acrylics really watery, like um, almost watercolors, very light, like very transparent. So we mix some grayish color, meaning lots of white and tiny, tiny bit of black. Maybe you want to go with a bit of blue, can also be, but still lots of water. And then we create those parts again, leaving just white paper somewhere. Yeah. So, and then these shadows of the hill. And then the last step will be the rabbits and the footsteps of the rabbits. Um, then some correct, ah, and of course, white on the trees. Yeah, yeah. But I'm waiting now for my green to be dry because then it's easier to put white then it's not going to mix. And then I can actually sit a thicker stroke of acrylics. And this is actually will be good for Julia to experiment because <clears throat> what, what acrylics can do that you can sit them thicker and they will end up a bit as a texture. So it will be almost like amount of snow on top of our green parts. Yeah, that's why now it's not so dangerous if you did a what are you doing right now, Evie? I didn't listen because I was fixing my scar. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I already got also too far. Next step is mixing very light, watery gray. Gray, very. I don't have enough space now. I'm going to get a little plate. So a lot of white, tiny bit, bit of black and lots of water. And then it takes also like kind of more space on your palette, very watery. And and again, have your paper towel close to you in case you need just again, uh, correct this border. So the border is not staying um, as a stripe, but it's more like blended out. So then, um, yeah. Run back. Good, good, good. Okay, um, I had to mix very, very watery gray. Cool, that's what we need. I mean, you can always get it darker when if you need it, but it's always good to start it safe. Yes. And but I always started with the whole big drop of black. Mm. Okay. Now I have to dye white a lot. Evie, uh -huh. I have a question. Why can't you find purple so often in paint stores? Because mostly they're like the most basic colors. Uh, what I can, what you cannot find in the store, the sometimes when I go to stores. There, there's like not purple or pink paint. I don't uh -huh. know why. I don't know why, but I feel mm. like because purple and pink are more, more not like the more basic colors. Basic colors are green, blue, yellow, mm. red. And it's orange. Well, because you know that pink and purple, you can always mix. And actually, when, when you buy, like not separate uh, tubes, but you buy a set, the purple <clears throat> sometimes is not there. Yes. Um, because it's so fun to mix your own purple. And this is actually also what you should learn about your particular paints. Because I have one paint, Sanyana, Juliet, we all have different brands, different paints. And you should experiment and learn which blue is mixing nicely with which red and which purple you get. Because sometimes you get very awesome, nice looking purple. Sometimes you get like, mm -hmm. exactly something muddy, something ugly, and you say, Oh, it looks more brown than purple. And um, but it's not always ugly the color. And that's it, it's just um experimenting. It's it's it happens, yeah. So yeah. it's so it's again you, you need to get to know your brushes, you need to get to know your paints. And you have to be friends with them. Totally, of course. Or it would be lonely. lonely. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't use them, they get lonely. 
But if you use them, they become your friends. You know? And they say, yes, Sanyada is coming to play with us again. <laughs> and everyone is happy. Yeah, and then you get your favorite brushes because you already know, yeah, with this brush. This one works better than this one or something like that. Totally. You see? It's not always of how it's working, but also be how it looks or it behaves or something like that. Yeah. Um. Again, one, uh, one more treat. So let's say if you're doing now this gray part, also to blend it out nicely to the out, you can use just clean white paint, you know, at the border of the gray towards, you know, to clean paper. And then it also kind of makes the, the story. You know? Very watery thingy. Yeah, but also leave it dry. Made it watery, leave it dry. I dab it. Actually, I dab it with my finger. <laughs> For some reason. And and what I also did, I put a bit more darker gray under the trees. Yeah, so kind of the shadow story of. Um... I put blue under the trees. Mm. I don't know why I put blue, but it's like. But if it looks cool, you like keep it, you know. Um... And I did my gray too dark. Mm. Now I have to start from you again. Um, I need white, white. And actually also here outside the sky on the other side, I can also put just clean, clean white on top and have a bit like smoothen up in the transition. You know, so, but then be, be sure your brush is clean. So it means nicely clean in the water and wiped mm -hmm. with the paper towel. Yeah. Can you tell what a transition is like in the current meaning? So transition, it means, so like what I have here, I have my dark blue sky and I end up in a white paper. And I don't have like one line where it's like dark and then light, but I have slowly, slowly, slowly uh, blended out from dark to light. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's Blending is very essential. You use it when you paint sky and you want the sunset you go from blue then you go from to to pinkish to orangey to yellowish and then you end up in horizon with the with the sea um when when you want to show that something is round it has shape you also need blending because you go from light to the shadow so yeah blending again it's just a bit more practice and you get better at it. So okay. um, I messed up very, very bigly. What happened? Um the gray is too dark and it's too big. So, so too if fast. so what we do when it happens, we wait till it's dry. We you wait till your gray is dry, and then you just take clean white and go straight on your paper with a bit of white like a bit of watery white on top and believe me your gray will turn out lighter yeah right now i did that but now i have to mix my gray with my white just what happens when we do mistake on our paper we tend to kind of try to correct it straight away but if you remember the golden rule if you mess up just stop wait till it's dry and then it's so much easier to correct. Yeah. So it's it's also experience. So it's just kind of um and it's normal. We it happens every time we paint, we don't paint perfectly. Some some parts just don't. Yeah. Okay, my voice is getting <clears throat> worse and worse. I, I apologize. Um so, What's wrong? and um I'll try to pick a bit wider. <laughs> mm. Okay, I will go a bit towards to the rabbits if if I may. Um because I'm still unsure about my green. I better leave it till the end to put the, the snow on, on top of my trees. And what happens with rabbits? Again, the darker rabbit is closer to us. 
the rabbits are far away should be lighter. And here, the big rabbit, we show that one side is lighter and one side is darker. This is how we show that the rabbit is not flat, but it's actually like it, it has volume, it's it's spherical. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, what you can do, you can take your brown and either use brown with lots of water or also mix it with a bit of white. And then you have two types of brown, like lighter and and darker. Evie. Mm -hmm. A little green got on my snow. Um, like accidentally somewhere or accidentally by the rubber with the footprints, but not yeah, by but... the dull where well, by the calm side. Mm -hmm. The rabbit was on the calm side. But, I mean, think, can you put foot footsteps there where you have green now? Like, cover your green with footsteps, no? Maybe, but it's I mean, like a smear for some reason. Like, just change the direction. So maybe your foot will be coming from the other side, but then you can cover your... Um... I hope this doesn't get ruined. My rabbit is gone now. I say, it happened already before five minutes, but I forgot to tell you. And and what? I'm sorry, Zanyana, I'll interrupt you. And what I do? I leave the tail of rabbit white, because later I'm also gonna put some shadow at the bottom, and like this, I get this nicely white looking tail. You know? Can I already make snow? And the snow, I think we just put white, I mean, on the trees, we just put a bunch of uh, yeah. white. And, and um, sometimes you can also, like, when you're a bit more pro, then you actually, because snow is not actually white. We always paint it with a bit more bluish, with a bit more grayish, sometimes even a bit more pinkish. Yeah. But sometimes not so fully white, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, so... It's like the snow is not also on one sh shade, just like trees. Yeah. I mean, just like trees, trees are also not only in one yeah. shade. Oh, and also, like, your rabbits doesn't have to be all um, brown. You can make them also grayish. And uh, I remember, as Sanyana mentioned, that the trees she made, they're lighter and darker than again. Evie, hmm? do you remember what I said last painting class, last la, um, la week before week painting class? Uh -huh. uh, about what was it? About what? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, okay. I just want to remember. But what about like, mean? what shall we paint next time? Or what was the story? Um... I don't know who was that. No, it was last week. In the phone. Okay. I asked you if we joined the painting class and then you said no. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true, yes. And then, after some time, I told you we could make a snowy tree. Mm -hmm. Did you get inspired from my idea to do this or did you normally get inspired? No, no, no. <clears throat> it was exactly your message. So I was like, okay, because <clears throat> with girls, we decided we're going to experiment the, with pellet knife and we're going to do some abstract flowers with pellet knife. But then the girls messaged me that <clears throat> they're not going to be here. So I thought, okay, we move this pellet knife story to the yeah. girls and what shall we paint? I really wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. But so I said, okay, what shall we paint? Meanwhile, and then exactly your idea came uh, with snow. And I said, hey, okay, let's make a Christmas card. I mean, it's... Uh, you know. um, but I have a question. Uh-huh. Um, what was your other interesting idea? Mm -hmm. uh, which idea I had? Yes. 
No, well, I don't remember. I just, I think I didn't have idea yet. So I just said, okay. But you said you prepared something interesting. Ah, I said that I will try to, but then you already came with this idea. So I said, okay. Um, then I stopped. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. So, yeah, I mean, I, I still haven't thought about something interesting. It was just the intention. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you do painting because it's fun for you or do you do painting because you want the money? <laughs> I, I would always do painting because it's fun for me. Yes, I think all the art, all the real artists, they do because it's fun. And then if money comes, okay, that's good. We all need to... To but leave. you also need some money to maybe pay off the bills and stuff. Yeah, like. yeah, of course. This is how, like... But like, I don't do it for money. No, because, of course, you still live with, with the parents and uh, enjoy the time. You can still have the this freedom, you know. Um, so what I, I finished kind of brown of rabbits. And then again, I come back to a bit maybe similar color of the sky. And I do shadow under the rabbit, definitely. So then it's it, at once it looks a bit more realistic because everything has shadow. And then I do those footsteps. And with footsteps carefully, like, exactly, don't make them too tired. The less strokes you do, the better it looks, like, just like one, one stripe. And and it's always will be better rather than like, you know, moving too much of. I draw my picture with white because I wanted to make the picture so I could make it more the snow. So by some parts more grayish, I painted my picture the snow white. Mm -hmm. And so the um the pencil lines are were also not so seeable anymore. <laughs> yeah. and I feel like I did a good job because it looks very cool yay I'm happy you enjoyed today's task you're all you're almost done it's still by the snow and I'm painting with my hands for some reason today <laughs> so I have to wash my hands today Minsanyan is a real artist. It's like, it's also sometimes you're I, such in a process and you use ah, different brushes and you end up with one brush in your teeth. And, you know, and it's like, yeah, it, <laughs> that's that's the process of artists. You get so. I mean, hot. I get tempted to use my fingers. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. That's what happens with me. I'm the yeah, person. But it's cool. It's cool. You know? I'm the person who always gets tempted. So another another trick. So if anything gets too dark on your painting, wait till it's a bit dry, and then just pure white paint on top, that like a bit halfly transparent, and it will make it like lower. Like I did it now with these uh, footprints of rabbit. They turned up a bit too too bluish. So now I'm just kind of putting a bit of white on top, ha, huh. and they are much lighter and, you know, as if they're more gray and snowy there. Ah, no, no, no. Mm. Are you already done, Evie? Well, uh, no, because I still need to do snow, and I see some corrections. I want to do and. If I were you, Evie, I would also paint the snow white since you have time, because that really makes snow more like, I don't know what's called, but it looks more like snow. And if you add more gray, mm -hmm. I think it would look pretty. It's just like an idea because I already did it. Okay, okay. I'll, um, thanks, yeah, I'll think about it. Um, You mean more gray here in the middle? Yes, like more... Because the two hills also would have um um a part mm -hmm. and, and like a little bit shadow on the back. Yeah. 
I will do that too. Okay. Thank you for well, the tip. Yeah, 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 sure. I, I appreciate. And it's also fun with paint with fingers. <laughs> yeah. these so ones. I will go now doing the snow on the trees. And for this again, I prefer less water and I prefer like almost no water and just putting like thicker amount of paint and even like just sitting this paint with one stroke. Um, so as if, yeah. Yes. So, I did. Mm -hmm. You can continue. You know, so I was just like to finish that um, this is part like you should know like when you use more watery, when you use more thick, yeah, it's so just um, sometimes we need one, sometimes we need the other. Evie, I forgot to tomorrow you can open the first um door in the advance uh, calendar. <laughs> you got and get the chocolate, yes. Yeah, you see, so now I see this white paint and I also cover a bit my greenish. So they already also a bit calmer. And I really sit no water and just pure paint on top. And I even took like new brush that is clean and dry. Then I'm sure it's it works, you know. And also like choosing the, the right shape for this. I, I chose a bit more pointy brush that's usually maybe goes for more for like watercolors, but then with this one it will be easier to do the. Evie, mm -hmm. how many um, uh, how many what's it called? German English Germany in this side of India. English law result of painting. State capital. Um, state capital. Sorry. Basically. I'm 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 Ja, ich kann Deutsch. Kannst du Deutsch sein, Jana? Ja. <laughs> ja, ich glaube, du wohnst in Deutschland. Ja. Um, ich kann auch Deutsch, ja. What Städte called in English? Cities. City. No? I forgot. I thought cities are lands. No, oh, like city, city is the town. Like, so London is the city. London is ein Stadt. And, and Land, Land is then like England is, or Germany is Land. And, uh, no? Yeah. Yeah. Do you also speak, and uh, Lettland, do you also speak German? Well, in, in the country, official language is, is Latvian. And, I mean, some people learn, of course, German is a is a foreign language. It's Europe's. I don't know. I don't know actually. Yeah. So, um, ah, okay. So Julie she also knows German. So uh, we all can auch auf Deutsch reden. That is toll. Um, super. No. Yeah, but um, allgemein mit uns ist um, Juliet und Ellie. Also zwei ähm, Schwestern, aber die beide kommen aus ähm, USA, also deswegen klar. Ja, yeah, so, also. Ist jetzt auf Englisch, aber toll, also. <lacht> ja. Weil äh, ich habe ein paar Jahre in Berlin gewohnt und deswegen, und dann, da habe ich mein Deutsch gelernt. Und Ja, und ähm, ich mache hier ein bisschen, also mein Dunkelgrau, ähm, also unten die, äh, die Bäume, ja, die Christmas Trees. Ja, 
Und keine Angst, ein bisschen mehr dunkel. Okay, vielleicht nicht so schwarz, aber trotzdem. Ja, sag mir, Sanjana. Um, Tell me whatever language you prefer. Uh, well, um, I'm still by the snow and I'm almost done right now. Cool, cool, cool. Was yeah, but remember, don't get too tired you're drawing, yeah? Especially because it's snow. Like, the um, the lighter, the easier. That's why maybe this this card I made actually in watercolors, because watercolors are always lighter. They have this lighter mood. So, and with the snow, you know, you kind of... So, okay, I feel I'm already getting my painting too tired. Um, maybe the last strokes, I'll try to correct a bit my sky. But it's a bit also dangerous decision. And then the nicest moment ever is taking the... Yes. The, <laughs> the, the masking tape off. I need more white. I got overboard with the gray. Oh. Yeah, but now, of course, let's say I've, I've already put snow on my tree, so. Correcting sky is actually not the finally done with the snow. Not the best decision. It's better correct your sky till the end and then put snow on the trees because then it stays kind of on top. Yeah. White is kind of the color you almost have to use for every single painting. Uh huh. Which one is it? The color is white. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a tricky question. <laughs> yes, but a part of white. I mean, do you usually run out of blues or do you usually run out of reds? Like, it's also interesting to observe um, which color you start missing first, you know, like from your set. Oh yes, that's and it awesome. means like that's your <laughs> top favorite choice. But purple, I don't know if it's gonna run out of my with me. But purple is my favorite color, so I use it also the most. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the the ones you don't have, it's the ones you you use. My my um snow is more grayish. It's it looks different than yours. Okay. I'm excited. It's more, it's more darker, you mean? It's, a, it's lighter. Oh, okay. But my um my um snow is more gray. Okay, interesting. Hmm. But I'm, I am so excited to show you my painting. Yeah, I will wait in WhatsApp. Yeah, so I can also tell <clears throat> Julia that we also have like a um, WhatsApp group. Yeah, then we can just message and we can also send our result. And during the week, we can also discuss uh, like what we want to paint. Julie? Um, are you also yeah. going to come the, are, are you also gonna come next week? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, cool, cool. I kind of cool. I wanted to ask her. Yeah. Um, when are Juliet and Ellie gonna come back again? Yeah, they they should be next week. From what I um next week tomorrow is already the first December. Yeah, yeah, so but the next is like next uh so next time we meet next Wednesday. All together again, I hope. I hope so, of course. When together, can, of course. Can we fun. then do palette knives? That's the plan, exactly, yes. But I don't know. Julie, do you have palette knives? 
Um, no, not yet. We've already gone to the store, but we haven't found any. Mm, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, maybe sometimes like it's it has to be a bit more arty shop, like you know, for for um. But they can be also metallic and they can be plastic. So let's say here I have the the um, metallic and plastic. And for paper, plastic is more than enough because metallic is more like for canvas. You know? I have metallic. I mean, then you just go maybe, yeah. I mean, you, you can't ruin paper, I think. I mean, it never happened to me, but... <laughs> But of course, in general, it's it can happen. Yeah. What what I like with pellet knife that it's it's so easy to clean it up with um, a paper towel and then it's clean again. Like the brush, it takes longer. But pellet knife just whoop, wipe, wipe, clean again. Go take another color. Oh yes, I know that. I already, I wanted to draw on with. I mean, I can also imagine how it can be. So I'm doing my favorite process now, taking the masking tape off. And then I really like how like the white paper corners, <clears throat> they, they stayed white and they kind of are integrated into this white frame. So it's, uh, right? but of course I wait before folding my like I let it dry and then I fold it as a card. Evie, so. I finally I'm stopping with the snow because I'm always going and going the, all the time that I always have to correct things and I want to do more. But finally I'm done with the snow. <laughs> congrats, congrats. Now I have to do the rabbits. What I didn't even I, do. I haven't done the rabbits, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do them. Because okay. I find it really difficult to draw these other things because I don't have two small brushes and I think it looks okay without it but um I don't know maybe I'll do something else I'll see yeah I mean it can also be just no rabbits um maybe one rabbit appears later well maybe just footsteps like as if the rabbit was there and or as if the big foot was there and then it's like then someone has to guess mm, who who was there you know maybe like so kind of a bit mystery maybe, maybe it was Santa ah <laughs> uh, <laughs> then oh, the step of the years you know they're smaller and pointing Bigfoot could also be there yeah secretly hunting for yeah. okay so I'll stop recording here because kind of but we can still of course continue talking mm -hmm.